one of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's most beloved operas, Die Zauberflöte, or The Magic Flute, opens at the Indiana University Musical Arts Center in a brand new co-production with the Atlanta Opera, directed by Thomas Vulun and designed by Jacob School of Music professor C. David Higgins. The IU Opera Theater performances will be conducted by Mark Gibson, and the Atlanta Opera performances will be conducted by Jacob School professor Arthur Fagan. Taking advantage of the highly fanciful nature of the opera, this new production is designed to invoke the image of a children's pop-up book, while using much of the same stage technology that was used in Mozart's day. The set has many hidden doors, windows, and panels. The costumes are multicolored and vibrant, and an entire zoo of animal puppets in all shapes and sizes appears throughout the story. Children will be engaged with the storybook appearance of the new production, and adults will be intrigued by the deeper meaning of the allegory contained beneath the surface. The Magic Flute contains countless references to Freemasonry, an order dedicated to truth and the ideals of the Enlightenment. Some theorize that Mozart, a Mason himself, used this opera as a direct allegory for Masonry, thus giving away some of the secrets of the order. They also theorize that, as a result of this, the Order had a hand in his death some three months after the opera's premiere. Whether or not the theories are true, the references to Enlightenment ideals are undeniable. Though the priest Zoroastro never engages in direct conflict with the Queen of the Night, his efforts to sway the minds of the youths Tamino and Pamina symbolize the efforts made by Enlightenment thinkers to sway the minds of all, young and old alike, who had been held captive by those opposed to the wisdom and truth of reason. The opera tells the story of the Prince Tamino, charged by the Queen of the Night to rescue her kidnapped daughter from the tyrant Zarastro. As Tamino and his reluctant companion Papageno attempt to fulfill their task, they learn that Zarastro is, in fact, the high priest of an order dedicated to wisdom and truth. Pamina was kidnapped to save her from her own mother whose quest to rule both darkness and light has the potential to corrupt Pamina's innocence and result in the destruction of Zarastro's temple and all for which it stands. In the end, Tamino and Pamina endure the trials of fire and water to achieve the wisdom of the enlightened and the right to true love. Papageno is united with his intended Papagena, and the darkness of the Queen of the Night is defeated by Zarastro and the light of wisdom and truth.